so hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so my name is miss kafue and today we'll be talking about how these married men came out to their wives as gay like how they revealed to their wives that they were gay so if you remember last time we did a video whereby women found out their husbands were gay and that video like went viral currently it has almost 200,000 views and thank you for your support guys but today we'll be seeing the other side of the story like how m some married men actually came out to their wives like what will you do if your husband came out to you as gay like how will you react what should you do about it like personally i don't know what i will do about it like that's very messed up but anyway let's jump into the video and then we'll be back may i ask how the wife is taking the news for those who don't know, I've been married for six years. I met my wife in third grade. We were prom king and queen senior year of high school. We've been together for 10 years. And part of my fear of coming out as trans was a fear that she wouldn't accept or that we would end up having to get divorced because I thought she was straight. And um, well, there's a meme that perfectly describes what happened when I came out. We gay. When you get married to a woman, even though you know that you're gay, you're you're like destined to do some pretty stupid and harmful things, not only to her, but to you and to all the people involved. Let me tell you about one of those things. I got married and I had been talking to a guy for about six months before I got married. Completely didn't think that it was like gonna amount to anything, wasn't trying for it to, but accidentally fell in love with him because I had never dated a man before, because why would I? I was raised super conservative and like would have never allowed myself to do that. But it was in my last semester of college and I felt like times were getting pl pretty bleak and I was about to get married. So why not talk to this random stranger who I met on chat roulette, right? What could go wrong? Anyway, fast forward six months, I get married to my wife. She, uh, you know, we're, we're happy. I'm not happy, but you know, we're pretending to be happy. She's happy, I think. And three weeks go by, three weeks, and I'm taking a biochemistry course while I'm working on applying to medical school. And while I'm in that class, I get 11 phone calls from her. 11 missed calls. So I think to myself, that's not good. Uh, and I immediately knew it was wrong. I, she didn't say anything. She didn't leave any voicemails. She didn't text me, nothing. She's 11 missed phone calls. And she had my location, so she knew where I was. And um, I, I, I knew what she wanted because I was like, she somehow found out I was still talking to this guy that I met on Chat Roulette, which I was. I was absolutely still talking to him. Oh, and by the way, I definitely wasn't telling him that I got married. Lots of mistakes, lots of dishonesty. And I'm prepared, so give me all the judgment. I know everybody's gonna fill the comments and tell me how horrible that was, but that's why I'm talking about this. Uh, because I don't think it's right, and I don't think it was good, and I'm trying to help people who might think that they can do the same thing, uh, realize that they can't. So she calls me 11 times, I leave class that day, and I, I'm going to call her back. I walk outside the building, and she is right there without shoes on, looking like she just saw a ghost or just watched her parents be murdered in front of her. She is horrified and rightly so. So I knew exactly what the problem was. She obviously found out somehow and she sat me down and we wound up having a three hour conversation about how she saw my open computer where I was Skyping this guy and she saw our chat history and everything three weeks into our marriage that's how she found out i was gay which is very embarrassing but that's how she found out horrible so let's talk about it okay so this is a tough one um i was married to my wife at the age of 21 years old and had been engaged to her for two years and she didn't know a single thing about me being gay as most did not if not i think there's maybe two people in the world um, who knew at that time but i had gotten to a place after three weeks of being married where i so physically could not handle the need 
from her to be intimate or anything that I knew very, very quickly that this was not a viable path for me. Um, was raised so Christian and conservative that her and I had never had sex. We barely kissed before we got married. It was easy for me to hide um, all of that by and like my lack of intimacy through my religious excuses for wanting to be pure. Um, meanwhile, the whole time I absolutely knew I was gay and attracted to men. So after three weeks of being married, I um, went to a coffee shop and wrote down everything I could about how I wanted to speak to her and like what I what I thought was important to tell her, knowing that there wasn't anything I could say that would in any way make this an okay situation. Uh, meanwhile, I'm I, at the time I was living in this state of like pure trauma and fight or flight. Um, so she came home from work. Uh, I was off that day. So I was sitting there on the couch waiting for her and sweating and completely broken. Um, sat her down, talked to her, told her everything I could. And at one point I just looked her in the eyes and I said, I'm gay. And that's not going to change. Um, it took her a long time to sort of like catch up and realize I had known this for about myself for a really long time, but eventually we got to a place in that conversation where she realized I was not backing down. Um, it took another like two weeks to actually get some space between us and for us to separate physically, um, move out. So I did that and um, it took us months afterwards to finally finalize the divorce. But um, this is some really, really heavy stuff. And I think a lot of you, uh, at least from the comments I've gotten on other videos, know exactly what I'm talking about and have been through this similar thing. But at the time, it was incredibly lonely. Um, and I don't wish that sort of pain on anyone. Um, gay, straight, whatever. Being in a relationship that you know isn't right is torture. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to talk about and unpack there, but, um, at the end of the day, I know I made the right choice and I'm incredibly happy and her and I have healed. So now it's a matter of continuing to just let that be. Ladies, how many times have you heard that some men hide in church? Like some men hide in church to hide the, the true them. Like this man, the whole time, he was pretending to be religious, or he respects this woman, or he can't sleep with this woman. Meanwhile, the whole time this man is gay. He's gay, sis, he's gay. Like sometimes you will think this man respects you, oh, blah, 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 he doesn't want to sleep, sleep with you before marriage. He doesn't believe in premarital sex, which, which is, there's nothing wrong about that, if that's what he believes. But using that as an excuse no, as an excuse of not showing intimacy of not showing affection knowing very well you're gay like something is up with you i think that is the problem but at the end of the day like it's good he came clean out of it and like they didn't waste more time because some of these men <laughs> are always on the down low and meanwhile they are busy making you pop out babies like the the lady the other day who was left from a youtube couple she was left with six babies and people started rumoring that her husband seemed as if he was on the dl like that's pretty messed up like imagine finding out your husband has been on the down low for over 15 years i think i think it's high time people lived their truth like if you're gay go be gay why do you need me as a woman to cover you like most men are in really relationships and marriage to hide the true them like they hide behind marriage behind behind children me i really respect men who live their truth as much as some people hate gay men i really respect them for one thing they live their truth this is ridiculous come on i love you too i do i do you gotta go right now okay but you better tell her i promise when he leaves her look to gabriel says it all you need to tell her. It's a little complicated. You need to tell her. If you, if you love him, it's going to devastate her. Not telling her will devastate her more. I promise you that. Right now, you're destroying lives to protect yourself. Hey. And when our wife returns, she tries to nudge Gabriel into telling her. Yeah, it is. Uh, Are you okay? It's, it's nothing to worry about. Yes, it is. When it's clear that he's not going to come clean on his own, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. 
She lets loose the truth. When you went to the bathroom, a white man came in, kissed him on the lips, and sat down. He begged for Judy. And she doesn't stop there. He's gay. Wait, this is my husband. Are you? The young man, he didn't want to leave his intentions. So they have a relationship. No. He kissed him on the lips. No. Time to tell her it was all an act. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm John Quinones. Hi, John. You gave him some beautiful advice. <laughs> and I've counseled and met so many women who have husbands who are on the down low, and it has destroyed lives. And I would not want her to go with her life living a lie. Regardless of how bad the truth may hurt, it works. Tani, Gabriel, you want to come say hi? I just, <laughs> I just told your business. No. I don't. I'm gay, I have a wife. Here she is, Breland Glitter Forever 17 on YouTube. And this person is asking what happens if you meet a man you're interested in. And good thing it actually happened. This is a picture from my birthday dinner from like two years ago or something. This is my wifey Breland, and that's my boyfriend. Well, ex-boyfriend now. And it was great, it all worked out. And I wouldn't consider that cheating considering we are open like that. Breland just doesn't care to have those relationships because she takes certain medications that really dried up her cat, if you know what I mean. And it wasn't like a throuple situation either. Like she wasn't, you know, it's just, you know, she's a straight woman who has a husband who happens to be gay and who happens to have a boyfriend and she happens to be supportive. And they had a great relationship. It wasn't really weird. He was like super chill about it. So it's kind of like a big, weird, dysfunctional family. In the end, he just dumped my ass, but deservedly so. And it wasn't related to my wife's situation at all. It was actually because, um, because I'm, um, you know, I'm kind of crazy. Ladies, I don't know about you, but this man sounds very ridiculous to me. First of all, if you have a boyfriend, why do you need a wife? Why are you stringing her along? Like, and then he starts by telling us, okay, my wife is brilliant from YouTube, like to just get like that credibility, like this smart woman is accepting his nonsense and he's being on the down low kind of bullshit. Like, I don't know whether men really see women as real people. So the wife, later comes on and explains the dynamic of their relationship and then she goes ahead and tells us that mm, so it works because they both like men and I'm like okay really like and then they finish by telling us that if you're open and honest you can make it in any relationship but no I disagree because if you're the type of woman that's looking for that's looking for a heter heterosexual man or a straight relationship like that won't work for you and I think it's very wrong, like men can be very selfish because if it was a woman in this case, if, you, if it was a woman who was telling her husband like, I'm gay, like let me have a girlfriend on the side. Like, do you see any man accepting that bullshit? But it's always the women who are supposed to like swallow down and like compromise themselves for this man. Like, I agree with compromising for uncontrollable circumstances like a disease or an accident or something, but a choice, a choice to hurt me, like you're there sleeping with men and then you come home, like how can you be both? Like, I don't think that can work for me and I think this couple is just very ridiculous to me. My husband's gay. He's a gay man. I'm a straight woman. We are married. We both like men and we make the perfect partnership. So I told my girlfriend I'm gay and she was totally okay with it. This is my girlfriend, Samantha Wynn Greenstone, and we are here to talk about what it means to be honest communicators in a relationship. Yes, in our relationship, we tell each other everything. Anything that crosses our minds, we tell each other. Yeah. Because it's fun to experience life together that way. And it's the key to our success over the mm -hmm. last six years, and especially with the dynamic we have. And as many of you know, I am gay. Samantha has known this since before we were even dating. Yeah. And 
you know, crisp, clear honesty is always the policy. It's always the way to go. Um, you Be know. on the same page about the boundaries that you want for your, right. for your relationship. We have the same boundaries. We have a closed relationship. We never want to go outside of the relationship. And we both know if we ever did, it would be the end of it. And, burr, burr, burr. and, that and we never would. I have no desire to do that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I did have a desire to fix my necklace. That's acceptable. <laughs> that's that's within the boundaries. Uh, so yeah, open and honest and you will be successful. In any relation. This woman just came out to her husband as gay and now they are getting a divorce and the internet is tearing into her and into her husband for his reaction to it. Watch this. Early this year I came out as gay to my husband. And he had the sweetest and most amazing reaction, and this is what he said. What did you say? I said that I was so proud of you, and that was the bravest thing I've seen that anyone do. And now we are going our own separate ways, and we're about to put this house on the market, and that's all she wrote. He liked my ex-husband. Be that good of a person. And people in the comments were saying things like, he didn't want her anyway. What man? I think he was looking for a way out and she made it easy for him. He's happy to be rid of her. Now, I don't know where you guys stand on the fence of this, but please let me know in the comments, what would you do if you were in this relationship and what do you think of this whole thing? It's time. I have to tell my wife that I'm gay. This is part four in my coming out story. In part three, I told you that I met someone. I met this guy through, through my job, through my work, that had almost everything that I had. He was in a relationship with a man, though, so it was what I had secretly longed for. Something, though, that I was conditioned to believe didn't exist, or at least it didn't look like this. I spent the next couple of months discovering who I was as an individual, coming to terms with what I had committed to and realizing that I don't know that I could live up to that or that I could be faithful long term. I was in a predicament and I had to make a decision. I was meant to be a dad and those boys are my priority. And if I came out when they were three and three months old, they would always know me as an out gay man. I also had to realize that we are not responsible for how others choose to deal with our actions or decisions. And it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to be selfish. And honestly, the truth can never be a bad thing. It can hurt. The truth can hurt, but the opposite of the truth is the bad thing. So the day came and when I decided it was true, it was like a snowball that I couldn't stop. I had to tell her. I packed a bag because I didn't know how it would go or what the outcome would be. And without sharing all of the intimate details, and remember, this is my story. It's not hers. But that evening I cleaned up for dinner while she finished getting our boys ready for bed. She came downstairs and I was sitting on the sofa and asked her to join me. It was extremely emotional for both of us. I cried and we laughed. There was anger, there was sadness, a lot of sadness. We covered a lot of space and time and She said she needed to leave for the evening, which was fine. As I found myself alone in the dark, it was the most horrible and sad I've ever felt. And at the same time, I felt relief and an incredible peace. But that peace and freedom would come with a cost. Ladies, I think I've already told you, like, if it was a woman confessing that she's gay to her man, the man will never stay. And you just saw what happened with that lady. Like, the man just separated from her. Like, he had to lie to her, like, oh, you're so strong, and they have to, like, separate. 
but again when it's the man they want you to compromise and like this man this last man even goes ahead to say like it's okay to be selfish no it's not okay to be selfish on that sense like there are scenarios that you can be selfish if you're watching out for yourself but stringing someone else along in your delusional life making them believe you love them making them believe that you're committed to them all the while you just crave to be in another place like you're string like some of these men will get married to just have kids to just have that fam family dynamic to just have a free maid free labor but all along they'll be sleeping with men out here they won't be showing you no affection you'll just be caught up in the house giving up your dreams for a man who's gay and then in the end he tells you he's gay after you've sacrificed your whole life you've given your free labor you've done everything that's how he'll reward you my problem is with the people who live a lie if you're living your truth i applaud you like that's really strong of you for living your truth like i i really respect people who live their truth but people who live a lie and then you string another person making them believe you're there for them you, you are committed to them you love them and then the, the whole time you're not even straight you don't even love her gen you don't even love that gender like come on like i think that's the wrong thing like imagine what it does to a woman psychic like a woman discovering her man is cheating with another lady is already traumatizing enough now imagine a woman discovering that her husband or her boyfriend prefers men to even women like that's heartbreaking that's very traumatizing like i can't imagine what it does to a woman psychic but at the end of the day if you love yourself if you know who you are you should be strong enough to let whoever or whatever go and you should always put yourself first like men are very selfish ladies it's time even us we be very selfish and protective of ourselves so anyway without further ado i'll see you in the next video guys continue supporting me i really appreciate your support at this point i really appreciate your patience you really waited for these videos and here they are finally i'll be back with a more interesting one bye